Hey guys, welcome back. It is Tuesday. So you know what that means. It's time for another awesome interview. And today we're going to sit down with the creator of Boarding Pass, Mariano. Let's do this. Hey, how are you? Good, mate. How are you? Nice Lovely to meet you. You too. You too. How are you? How's things? Uh, things are going great, man. That's yeah. what you want. And Boarding Pass, everyone is loving it. Like I'm getting a lot of feedback from people online um, and wanting to know a few things about it. So. I thought who better to ask than the creator himself. So if I could throw a few cu- cu- questions your way, uh, cool. hopefully they answered. Yeah. Um, first things first, we actually had a couple of people asking about your history in magic. So where your, your, where you started and kind cool. of what you do now, are you a working magician? Are you that type of thing? Can yeah. you give us a little bit of a, a, a 30 second elevator pitch on who you are, I guess. Yeah. I've been a working magician. Well, for about, uh, 30 years. Right. Um, I, I also, I am a, I studied programming mm-hmm. at the university, but I never uh, really worked. I worked a uh, uh, small periods of time, like one year or maybe three months as a company, but I've never used that skills to produce uh, magic apps or, or anything. Uh, so I about, uh, Four years ago, five years, I started again with oh, that. Wow. Yeah. So, but before I, well, as it's a long story, you know, at, na- at age nine, I met René Laband in Buenos Aires, Candil in Argentina, and I fell in love with card magic. And I started, you know, trying to learn all the moves, uh, all the tricks, and uh, all the stuff. And I, like, I, I was a card magician for. For ten years, mm-hmm. only oh, wow. and close up. Uh, then, uh, then I started to uh, incorporating different things into my show, uh, and I love to to have really staple tricks. You know that it, they are easy to do, easy to understand for your uh, audience. Um, so that I think. This one, this trick I created, it has that value of uh, being something original, you know, out of the cards, the coins, and and it fits that that thing of being easy to understand and easy to perform for you. If you don't have to remember anything. Yeah, a hundred percent. It's uh, that was one of the things when I first saw Boarding Pass. I was I sat down and I watched the trailer, and I was like, is this? too good to be true because with things opening back up and people being able to travel again, this hits home to so many people. And then I watched the trailer and I was like, the fact that it is it could be performed solo as well. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't have to, like you, you can perform. Well, it in with, fact, in, yeah. In fact, yeah. Uh, most of the input yeah. methods that we call are solo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's only one method where you can, uh, hand your phone to a helper and he can do the dirty work if you if you want yeah that's the, the lowest you know thing oh yeah yeah, yeah. But that's what i mean the solo methods are so easy and they make sense to be on your phone or using your phone yeah, and actually i want to to talk about that to uh, of, without revealing the input methods but mm-hmm. uh the input methods that come with the app uh, there are two input methods solo. Uh, those ones are the ones that you, you're going to use continuously. And when you and you have your phone and and your your tickets, and you want to do a quick trick, then you use that, and it's perfect. I use the other methods with that uh, use other apps of mine. When I have more time, I know you know in a formal show and. Or maybe I like to fool uh, somebody who knows about magicians and all that. But for lay lay people, I use the the standard input methods that come with the trick, and they are perfect. They fly by. Yeah, that's true. It's, it, like I've got it. I'm I'm waiting for something to get delivered because I can't wait to play with this because I've watched like I've watched a tutorial. And the input methods is so beautiful. Now, a couple of people want to know, like we talked about it briefly about the the boarding passes. You can scan them once, and once you scan them, or once you yeah, let's talk about that. Yes. First of all, 
uh, today someone asked uh, the web, the Facebook, I think. Uh, can I um, can I use can I make my own um, personalized boarding passes? And I said yes. Why not? As long as you can scan your um, your QR code, the three that are unique to you, you can scan this. And if you're good at Photoshop, or you have a friend, or you go to a place that they can compose, uh, you can put your name on the tickets or even change the airline ticket for another company, you know, you can do that. But let's talk about the procedure. And this is very important. I like yours. Uh, let's say you are performing, you present these tickets, it's a three boarding passes. And this is the ideal way to, as I see it, to perform. First, you ask what city would you like to fly? First, the city, okay? But because in the trailer, maybe I, first I say, select one, and they select one, okay? And I say, well, that's one. Then I ask for the city, but it's not so good. It's better to first ask for the city, talk about the city, do the dirty work, and then think about this. They select anyone, Anyone, and you ask them for scanning the other two, okay? And now the question, what happens if there are uh, three friends or four or any number at the table and they take out the phone and they scan, for example, this one or this one? Okay, what exactly happens and from the technical standpoint is that the first one to scan will lock um, a random city on this one. Then all the rest scanning will see that random city and they will see that random city for the rest of the evening now for it. Then the same will happen to this one. They scan and it shows always the same random city, totally different than the selected one. It will never be, if they say California, this is not going to show California, of course. <laughs> it could, but no. Well, that's it. When they scan this one, it will go to the city. I love um, that. So that, that's a really important uh, point because if you go and you see, as you said, if you go and scan again and it changes the city, that would be. Strange. Yeah, 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 exactly. Strange. <laughs> but also, there are things about this uh, effect that I've never said. Uh, maybe some uh, uh, some magicians will note it, uh, but maybe most of them they would don't care. But I covered that point. For example, when you scan the, for example, the Qatar one the some some qr code scanners they show the link okay for example in iphone if you use the, the iphone camera uh you don't see any you see uh, maybe two characters of the web and, and you don't see more it says you want to open this and you say yeah boom and it opens but in some uh per, um, third-party uh, scanners or Android ones, it shows the link. So logically, I cannot go to the or Qatar uh, website because that would be <laughs> difficult, you know? Yep. But it goes to, um, to a minimum name of website and it says Qatar uh, in, in, the, in the address. It says mm -hmm. Qatar and, and some garbage numbers that I place there. So you, you, you normally see that on airplane, I mean, uh, on website that's, that sells um, tickets. So you see the Qatar and you see the Iberia one with the um, Spanish address and everything. So if anyone looks at it, uh, First, they'll see that it is really from, supposedly from the airline. But what happens, let's go further. This is like, I am paranoid and you know, 
magicians are going to say, ah, no, what happens? See if what happens. That will never happen. Yeah. But let's let's say that there's some guy trying to figure out, and he says, Oh, what is this address? Let, let's type this address on my phone. If they type the address, they will go to the real website of the airline and they will go to the Qatar Airways. So it's not going to happen, but I like to cover all that stuff, you know. Yeah, no, like you said, the, there's magicians are the the best at finding things that will never happen in an effect, like trying to find out what if this will ever happen and nothing will ever happen like it. No one is ever going to, like you said about no, the, the website. No, no. no but you, no, this one, because, you know, this, this, this is different because it goes like, it's an effect that you, you perform, it's good and it ends and no one is, it's thinking about like, like this. I'm not going to say, this is not good, but if you have a trick with only your phone and an app, if you ask for the phone and you type on some obscure website and then return it, then you can maybe think, mm, what yeah. happened? What happened? But here you did nothing. Yeah. You do have absolutely nothing. The tickets, they have the tickets and they scan, so they have no really no reason to suspect anything. Well, yeah, like you said. You gave them a 100% free choice to name any city in the world. Yes. And then they have the free choice to one of three car like boarding passes. Yeah. And then they scan the other two boarding passes, different cities. They can't, how do they backtrack from that? That's so difficult. Yeah. It is very difficult to backtrack. Even if, the, if these three selections is only three, it is difficult because this does the first, you know, stopping uh it, it you know it messes with your mind because <laughs> you know you can imagine what's behind all this oh yeah i can you, like it, you said, it looks very simple yeah and you cannot imagine what's behind so but um yeah uh you can also uh, uh perform you know without having to scan all three you, you mm -hmm. have select single revelation and you say let's say I want to predict a city within another routine I have for a prediction. So you take one of the boarding passes and, and put it into an envelope and hold it there or give it to the audience. And then when they scan, it goes to the city with the single revelation. That's smart. So kind of like a big confabulation routine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. I love that idea. Actually, I when you have something that's pretty good, uh, if you know the method, I mean, you like it more, but yeah. So I promise that with this one, you will like it. You buy it and you like the method and you will perform it. And you, that, that's it. It's not something that complicated because you say, ah, but there's an app. There's an app. Oh my God. I have 70 apps in my phone. I don't want, well, but this this one is very, I mean, uh, you don't even have to register with your email and your password. Oh, I forget the password. Nothing, no, nothing. Because you have your code printed on one of the tickets, these guys here. And as long as you have the ticket, you simply place that code and the app is super, super simple and it works every time. That's a good point. I absolutely love that. And I, like, like I said, I can't wait to get this because like you said, the, the method behind this is so good. And you're thought of all these different steps to take to cover all these bases and all these different performance styles that mm -hmm. I'm really excited to get out and play with it and sit, try yeah. all these different things. I, out. I thought, I thought uh, you can perform this as a mentalism, as a prediction or as a magician, as a coincidence, you know, not as a mentalist, as a magic coincidence. Oh, what a coincidence. But uh, let's, let's, uh, this, this, this is how a magician will, <laughs> will present it. They select this one ticket, for example, they scan this one, they go to other places, and then the magician does this. Here's the ticket. <laughs> and he, he goes like a light, 
turns on smoke. <laughs> no, watch. Smoke and light, and now your city is inside this ticket. So scan the queue. They, I changed the format of the QR code and I arranged that ink. Yeah, you can say all that. Yeah. But I'm not going to do that in the trailer, you know? I could do that on the trailer, but I think I presented really clean, the bare bones yeah. of the Oh, But yeah. I think we have to explore more presentations. Oh, that's it. The, the presentation is limited to the performer's imagination, really. The presentation could take you anywhere with this. Like, it could be much better with a proper presentation. Of course. Oh yeah, no. I think the presentation, like the one you did to the ladies when they're on, the Irish ladies when they're on holiday, yeah. that was that was so fun and watching their reactions and they got all excited by it. So yeah, I think I was so lucky to find that table here in Spain, you know. Yeah. But lucky, like we, we say here, uh, the Virgin came from this from the <laughs> from from the skies and appeared to you. Or yeah. God, you, you saw God because. You don't have, uh, maybe you find a uh, tourist or so, but to go out on my city and find that table full <laughs> of, of Irish girls, I said, and then uh, every performance that you see in the trailer is a one, one shot. Oh, that's great. It's one shot and it worked perfectly every time. And I said, yeah, good reactions from everyone. And... Um, so I, I like to every trick that I create to for the trailer to be that easy. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's you want it to be that easy for the trailer, but also that easy for the performance when you're actually out there doing it live. Yeah, and yeah, you can see that from the way you've thought you've you've covered every base in this effect. So well done. I'm really happy with it. I I hope you're happy with it because it, you've nailed it. Yeah, I am happy with it. <laughs> well, what what what's next for you? What are you? Are you working yeah, on another planning, release? I'm planning, uh, as I said, I started uh, four or five years ago in uh, playing programming of apps, but I think mixing uh, physical stuff with apps, with software is better. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's good. Uh, but I, I am now exploring uh, electronics and maybe electronic with apps, but electronic things and well i can say i can't say i can reveal what's the next one <laughs> it, 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 it it's like a board okay with some things oh. and remotely and oh now good. you're teasing us <laughs> now you're teasing us and i love it well i'll be back i'm sure to talk about that more when it comes out so right. are you, you you're far along in development is that close to coming out or is that a little bit off yet or what? Sorry. Are you close to releasing that, or is it still? A little ah, bit no, no. I think well, I have months. I have some months. Maybe yeah, by the end of the year we'll have it ready because we take. Uh, uh, I am with a team uh, that makes the electronics here for top magicians, and they take their time to produce a top notch. You know, are perfectly working. Uh, this is not a quick thing, and I have the time, so I, I like to do it like that. Oh, it's totally. I 100% agree. There's no point in rushing out an effect because then you're going to have people come back and say, this doesn't work, this doesn't work. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, you, and you being a, a working magician, you can put it through the paces as well before you give it to the, the community as well. Yeah, so I love that. I, I, that, that's what I'm missing. Uh, I, I am a working magician. I normally do trade shows or mm -hmm. work uh, with companies, but I also love to perform uh, maybe in restaurants, you know, table mm -hmm. to table, doing, or I have my show here. We have a in Madrid the Houdini Theater where I've been 15 years working there. So I love to test my material there. I love uh, it, and that's that's the way it works. Actually, <laughs> no, I really appreciate it. No, thank you so much for joining us. Okay. Um, Thank I really appreciate it. And I, I'm excited to play with this. I'm excited to show people about this, show people boarding pass and for people to actually perform boarding pass. Um, are you available online? If people have any questions uh, about boarding pass, um, what's the best way for people to contact you? Yeah. The main, the main contact will be by email. 
on my, or my website, you can find it, or you can send me a message on Facebook. I'm available. Uh, I think I'm I'm going to make a group also on Facebook. So. Okay. Well, cool. I'll have all the links to that down in the description below for everything that you've just discussed. So that'll be good if you're looking for Mariana want to chat. It's all down in the description below. So I appreciate that. Okay. Now I'll let you get back to your night, man. I know it's late where you are. So thank you so much for joining me. Oh, well, thanks, Will. And um, hope to see you on the next one. My absolute <laughs> pleasure, mate. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Cheers. Bye. Bye.